Jeremiah 49 hits us with a tough message. It's all about God's judgment on different nations. It can seem distant reading about ancient places like Ammon and Edom and Damascus, but there's something deeply personal and relevant in these prophecies for us today. It's about understanding the heart of God towards sin and injustice and how he calls us to live. Take Jeremiah 49 verse 10. It's aimed at Edom. It says, But I will strip Esau bare. I will uncover his hiding places, and he will not be able to hide. His children, relatives, and neighbors will perish, and he will be no more. It's simple and frightening. It isn't just about punishment. It's a reminder that God sees what's hidden, that nothing escapes his notice, whether it's nations or individuals. It's a call for us to examine what we might be trying to hide and to remember God's deep concern for integrity and righteousness. But here's the thing. While God's judgments are real, so is his mercy. The Bible isn't a book of doom. It's a story of redemption. God's judgments are part of his larger plan to restore and heal. And that is where we find hope. It's not just about the fear of judgment. It's about the promise of restoration for those who turn back to him. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. This isn't just an ancient story. It's a live invitation for us. It's about humility, seeking God, and turning things around. Jeremiah 49 isn't just a history lesson. It's a mirror asking us how we're doing in justice, integrity, and humility, and in seeking God. It's a reminder that God's heart is for healing and restoration, and we're called to be a part of that story. So today, as we read chapter 49, let's take a moment to reflect. Where are we being called to change? How is our character and integrity? And how can we better align our heart with God's?